Hi, it's Elsa. Modern wind turbines are the driving force behind a sustainable future, capturing the energy of the wind to produce clean, renewable electricity. In this video I will explain how they work and how they are transforming the energy landscape. Wind turbines are composed mainly of three essential parts, the tower, the blades, and the power transmission system. Let's start with the tower. This solid, tall structure supports the wind turbine and allows the blades to reach sufficient heights to capture the wind efficiently. Towers can be of various heights, depending on the type of terrain and environmental conditions. Wind generator blades play a key role in the process. They are aerodynamically designed to capture the maximum amount of wind kinetic energy. When the wind blows on the blades, the blades begin to rotate due to the force of the wind itself. The rotational motion of the blades is connected to a power transmission system within the generator. When the blades rotate, they drive a drive shaft connected to an electric generator. The generator converts the mechanical energy from the blades into usable electrical energy. An advanced control system helps monitor wind direction and speed. When wind speed exceeds a certain threshold, the control system optimizes the angle of the blades to maximize energy efficiency and protect the generator from excessive stress. Now, let's see how the electricity generated by wind turbines reaches our homes and communities. The generated energy is transferred through an electrical grid, consisting of transmission lines and substations. Here, the energy is adapted to meet the electrical needs of people, businesses, and industries. Modern wind power plants can be either onshore or offshore, with offshore wind turbines harnessing the constant wind of the ocean. These plants, along with onshore plants, make up a significant portion of the renewable energy produced globally. Because of their clean and sustainable nature, wind turbines are a key element in the fight against climate change and in moving our planet closer to a greener, brighter future. However, there is one important and not so cute aspect of all this that we cannot overlook. Building a wind turbine takes a lot of steel and tons of concrete to ensure its stability. This might sound crazy, but like anything, if used for a useful purpose, it could offset the costs. Also, I heard that there were protests from people who did not want to see wind generators near their homes. They say they spoil the view, drive away birds, and are noisy. They actually have a point, but if you want to keep using so much energy and you can't do without the electric toothbrush, you have to produce it somehow. Are coal-fired power plants perhaps nicer to look at? Or maybe wind generators are fine if they build them far from your home. In any case, there are also very compact home generators that you mount on the roof of your house and can get up to producing fair amounts of power. If everyone were more energy independent and if we reduced consumption, there would be no need to argue about mega wind farms. And with that, we conclude our introductory video on wind energy. In the description you will find useful links and tips on how to learn more about the topic. Thanks for following and don't forget to subscribe to find out more about renewable energy and sustainable lifestyles. See you soon.